Hi, it's Brent Abel here, webtennis.net. And you know, when I used to work with Tom Stowe back in the early 80s, you know, one of the great tips he gave me was trying to help me learn the stroke, for example, the forehand ground stroke, starting at the finish. And what that means is that you've got to really be able to identify, you know, what is your ideal finish position on your, you know, generic standard general forehand ground stroke drive. And if you don't know what that position is, then you know, typically what happens is once you get into contact is you start to abbreviate the finish, you start to slow down the swing because you're not really sure where you want to go, where you want to end up. And if you really think about it, there's sort of three parts to the swing. First part is, you know, what do you do with the racket prior to contact? What's the swing shape? What's the swing speed? You know, tempo, all that kind of stuff. You know, number two is the contact point. Where is the ideal contact point for you? And then the third thing is, you know, where do you want the swing to finish? And, you know, rarely do we ever come in and just stop right there at contact. We really want to feel some kind of a, you know, a nice free flow swing freedom out through the ball, out past the ball to a specific finish position. So what I want you to do today is I want you to think about what is your perfect ideal finish position and let's work on the forehand ground stroke. Where do you want to get to? I know right where I want to be. I want to get to, you know, a spot right about there. I want to bring that shoulder all the way up to the chin, you know, and I need to ensure after I make contact that I'm continuing the swing speed, continuing the swing tempo, that it goes past the ball and goes all the way out to the finish position no matter what's happening on that side of the net. So think about this, you know, what is your ideal finish position? You know, mine is, mine's going to be right about out in there. And so I want to make sure that as I feel the ball that I'm not stopping, that actually as I feel the ball, I'm going to go ahead and finish the swing exactly where I know that I've got to be. And one of my reference points is my racket shoulder coming all the way through to where it finishes under the chin. And and for me, I know right where I want that finish to be, and it's not so much with the racket, I think more of my shoulders. I want to get the racket shoulder, the back shoulder, to come in and finish to a certain spot. For me, that's under my chin. I want to make sure that I haven't pulled off the ball, that I'm allowing the shoulder to come in, make contact, and then go all the way to where it touches under the chin. And you know, there's, there's a lot of swing left after you make contact. You know, just because you feel the ball doesn't mean the shot's over. There's still a lot of swing path to go through. And, you know, whether you rotate through this ball with your hips, whether you rotate it with your shoulders, rotate it through with your shoulders, whatever technique you use, you need to start to identify what's your specific ideal finish position and practice this week always making sure that every forehand you hit, you get to that spot no matter how tough the situation is on the other side of the net. And I think what you'll find is the more time you take after contact to get out to that ideal finish position, you'll become much more of a consistent shot maker, especially on that forehand ground stroke. All right, hope this has helped. Any questions, as always, ask Brent at webtennis.net. Have a great day out there. Hi, it's Brent Abel here again with you. Hope you enjoyed that tip. And, you know, get out there this week, practice that forehand ground stroke finish position, identify it, and then just start going to it every time you play a forehand. If you're not currently at the webtennis.com blog, follow that URL that you see there on the screen. Uh, or if you're at YouTube, in, this, in the description box below the video, uh, there's a link that will take to this particular blog post. All right, looking forward to helping you. Have a great day out there.